Okay, if you are like me and you are a transplant to Florida, you've heard of the thing that, you know, Florida is a no fault state when it comes to auto insurance. What exactly does that mean? And if you are like me, you have a lot of questions in this. And well, who do I always go to with my questions here on The Blend? Catherine Stone from Injury Florida Law, who is back with us talking a little auto insurance, which again, something that you're able to navigate for your clients. Help navigate it for us as well. <laughs> How are you? You know, this is a question that a lot of people have, and I know you and I were talking about it off air. Um, what exactly is no fault? Everyone wants to know, what does that mean? Well, it's basically in the state of Florida, you are required for every auto insurance policy, there's two elements that each policy must have. They cannot write it without these um, two elements. One has to be a minimum of 10,000 in property damage, which means um, if you uh, strike another vehicle or cause an accident to another vehicle, or even if you injure a, a guardrail or a building with your vehicle, you have at least 10,000 in property damage coverage. The other part that is required by the state of Florida is that you have at least 10,000 in personal injury protection. And we often hear that referred to as PIP benefits. And that's the part that's no fault. So in other words, it's basically medical insurance for you to cover your medical expenses, regardless if you cause the accident or not. So if you cause an accident, and let's say you don't have any private health insurance or any insurance through your employer, and you need to go to the doctor because of the injuries you sustained in an accident that you caused, you can utilize your PIP insurance to, for treatment of medical bills up to that $10,000. If someone else injures you as a result of an auto accident, they cause an accident and you suffer injuries, then the law says that you need to use that 10,000 in personal injury is there to cover your first 10,000 in medical bills, okay? And, but it, it the no fault portion is really in regards to the personal injury protection, meaning that is 10,000 in medical bill coverage that you have regardless of who causes the accident. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious, and I guess the best way to probably put this into words is with a scenario, but say you do get an accident and the person was uninsured. Does that first 10,000, does that then co get covered by your policy itself? Yes. So that is different than uninsured or underinsured motorist coverage, which we often hear referred to as yeah. UN coverage. So again, the first 10,000 in medical expenses, and, and I should preface this by saying it's paid out at an 80-20 ratio. So um, they pay 80% of your medical bills up to the first ten, up to $10,000. Okay. So you may still owe 20% of, of that medical bill, but that's how the PIP insurance works. So if you get hit by a driver that does not have auto insurance, or even if they do have auto insurance um, that covers bodily injury, you're first going to need to utilize that personal injury insurance PIP. And that's the biggest question I get. I just got it a couple of weeks ago from a, a new client. Why does he have to fill out an application for PIP insurance? Why should he have to use his insurance when the other party has already accepted 100% liability? Well, unfortunately, that's the way it works. That's why the Florida law requires it and it has to be utilized. OK, um, you can also reserve a portion of that 10,000. I should say this as well. You can reserve a portion or all of it for lost wages. So um, it can be utilized for lost wages as well, but no more than 10,000. Now, um, again, uh, you, there are certain way they can limit that 10,000 if you don't seek emergency medical care within 14 days of the accident, regardless of who causes the accident. Oh, there's those deadlines. I've gotten to know you well and know there is deadlines with every kind of thing under the sun. And this has been very informative, Catherine. Thank you for breaking this down. Hopefully you were able to take something away and maybe you have some questions. We'll go ahead, get in touch with Catherine and her team today. Injury Florida Law, there's the phone number and website. Thanks, Catherine.